Hello everyone, it's Barbara. Thank you for watching my video. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel, liking or sharing this or any of my videos. The description below the video will have the information about the deck that I'm using. So always check in the description below the video for vital information. Okay, having said that, we have a card today from the Secret Language of Light deck. I love this deck. The artwork is beautiful and the messages just go right to my soul. So I wanna share this with you. Today we have the number eight card, which is meditation. Now the number eight is a number of abundance and prosperity. When it's turned on its side, it's infinity, it's eternal. So just imagine all good things coming with number eight. So I'm going to read from the book. Love and master your emotions. It is time to begin or resume a meditation practice. Gent gently reflect on how far you have come. One of the things we forget is, um, you know, how we've, how far we've come in one year or five years or 10 years or 20 years or however many years. We always think, oh, I should be farther along. But then when you look back on the previous year, you've come a long way, baby. So we need to celebrate those. Even if they're small things, they're still things. So let's celebrate all those amazing changes that we've gone through. Emotional mastery means choosing to be in charge of your life by adjusting your emotions, your ideas, and intellect to something that feels easier and softer. This discipline will liberate you by opening a door into the tranquility and wisdom of your soul's love. You can't go beyond limitations while you are still focused on them. Let me say that again. You cannot go beyond limitations while you are still focused on the limitations. So meditate by focusing on something that brings you joy, such as having a massage, playing with your pets, spending time with your children, creating art. There is no right or wrong way to meditate. It is just a gentle shift in your attention away from the physical world and into a world of infinite possibilities. Meditation is a way of resetting your energy that brings you into a neutral space from where you can move forward. Your life experiences have led you here. So allow them to be the catalyst that creates joy and freedom. Meditation is a creative process. It is not something we need to learn. It is simply a connection back to who you are. It is called a practice because it takes time to master. I suggest you build up your meditation practice from five minutes to 24 minutes per day. One minute for every hour in the day. The meditation coming up will help bring a sense of calm and alignment wherever you are. You can expand the time by focusing on your breathing. When it feels right to do so, look at the card image in this video or focus on something that feels relaxing to you. 
It could just be staring out the window at a tree. It could be staring at a lamp that's sitting on the table. It's up to you. Whatever feels relaxing to you. Now close your eyes and start breathing into your heart and feel yourself unwind. Breathe in and take your awareness within. Breathe out and surrender. Breathe in and take your awareness within. Breathe out and surrender. Breathe in and take your awareness within. Breathe out and surrender. Now breathe in and adjust your light. Bring in that light. Every time you breathe in, feel the light just coming into every cell of your body. Familiarize yourself with how this feels, with how it feels that every cell is filled with light, divine, healthy light. Breathe in and navigate toward your sacral center. When you breathe out, I want you to create balanced space. Breathe out and create balanced space inside you and around you. Breathe in and receive love. Breathe out and give love. Breathe in and receive love. Breathe out and give love. Give it to the whole world. Give it to your community. Give it to your loved ones. Give it to planet Earth. So breathe in and receive love from the universe, from your higher self, from your soul, from source, God, spirit, creator. And breathe out and give love. Give love to everyone and everything. To build up to 24 minutes, repeat to yourself, breathe in and receive love, breathe out and give love. That's all it takes. When you concentrate on your breathing, that left brain will start to quiet down. One of the things that you can do is expand your practice by trying these little tips. Sit quietly and close your eyes. Breathe in for a count of four. Breathe out for a count of four. And pause for a count of four. And do this four times. Four is an excellent number because it creates a solid foundation. Breathe in for four. Breathe out for four. And pause for four. Another tip to bring a sense of well-being. When you take a shower, imagine cleansing liquid light flowing from the shower head and washing away worries and troubles and stress and all that is no longer needed. Feel yourself moving into a state of wellness and harmony as you stand under the shower of water. Talk to the water, thank the water 
Thank the water for taking away all your troubles, worries, and stress. Concentrate on your breathing. Breathe in love and breathe out to give love. To help clear your mind, close your eyes, breathe deeply, and let your mind just wander. Beware of your thoughts. Become aware of your thoughts. Where do they go? What path do they take you down? Open your eyes and write down your thoughts, no matter how silly or random or maybe worrisome they are. then let go of that noise that veils your clarity. Those random thoughts just needed to be dealt with. They needed a little bit of attention. You write them down and then you let them go. Another thing you can do to help with meditation is to start a journal. Writing in your journal, even for three, four, five minutes a day, your, your thoughts, your feelings, things that just so-called randomly come to you, or writing down your dreams, or the messages that you get while you're sleeping, they can be very helpful. And one of the things I find most interesting is when you look at those journal pages six months or a year later and you think wow that was pretty profound and guess what I did all that huh that's pretty cool so one of the things you can do is get yourself a journal it doesn't have to be a special journal um, you can make it special yourself if it's just a notebook if it's um, an app on your phone, however you want to do it. But write those things down and you'll be amazed at how much better you feel because one, you've gotten rid of those things out of your head. And two, you allow yourself to be more creative because maybe you look at those notes and you meditate with them and on them and ask for more clarity. And they lead you down a whole different path, which is exactly where you were supposed to go in the first place. So that is our card for today, my beautiful soul family. I hope you enjoyed this, this reading. And I wish you many blessings for a beautiful day, for information, knowledge, and wisdom to come to you when the time is right for you. And I wish your heart filled and surrounded with unconditional love. I love you, my pretties. Namaste.